it's Michelle and welcome back to the Royal Daily Tea. So today I wanted to take a brief moment to discuss something with you that happened to me personally and I want to help you to avoid this as well. So most recently my computer was hacked you guys and someone was able to access one of my bank accounts and also my Etsy account where they charged over $300. Now you guys, that was extremely scary. I was paranoid. I felt vulnerable as my entire life is on the internet. Most recently, a company had reached out to me called Atlas VPN. Now what is a VPN? A VPN stands for a virtual private network, meaning they help to protect you online. They help you with data breaches against hackers, malware. It's an added protection for you and your family while you're surfing the web. So not only does Atlas VPN protect your data online, it also gives you access to mask your IP address and to surf the web globally. They have over 49 locations and thousands of servers. If you want to access Netflix in the UK or France, you simply log into your Atlas VPN account and you change your location. It is as simple as that. Right now, you guys, is the best time to purchase Atlas VPN. They're offering huge summer savings up to 85% off. You can get Atlas VPN for as little as $1.83 a month, and they also offer a full 30-day money-back guarantee. Everything will be linked for you down below. This is the best time to give yourself some extra online protection. Join Atlas VPN and take advantage of those huge summer savings as they are not going to to last, but I really do hope that you guys will try Atlas VPN and provide some extra security for your family online. Hi everyone, it's Michelle and welcome back to the Royal Daily Tea. We have a lot of juicy royal tea to get through today so you know what to do. Sit back and relax, grab yourself a beverage, and let's get into the Royal Daily Tea. So happy belated 12th wedding anniversary to Zara and Ten. Mike Tendell reimagines himself and his wife Zara as Barbie and Ken using AI to celebrate 12 years of marriage. It appears everyone has jumped on board the Barbie train, and I'm here for it. I love Barbie. So Mike Tendell proved that even the royal family is captivated by Barbie, for he took some very hilarious Instagram post to celebrate his wedding anniversary. So we all know that Mike Tyndall, a former rugby player, has a great sense of humor. He is often joking around, posting hilarious images of himself wearing one of his wife's hats to his social media. So using an AI tool, the father of three created a graphic where he superimposed Zara's face onto Barbie while making one of himself in a version of Ken. Again, they just look like such a fun down to earth couple. Now the hilarious post marking 12 years since the couple married in Scotland was created using the Barbie selfie generator. I definitely got to get on that tool. Now accompanying the photo he wrote quote Thanks for the messages. It's been a great 12 years. Feel like we're getting younger. Hashtag Zarvian10. So I want to wish Mike and Zara a very happy 12th wedding anniversary. And here is to wishing you receive many, many more years of wedded bliss. So are you looking to get the royal treatment on a budget? Well, apparently now you can rent out some holiday homes through the Duchy of the Cornwall Estate from Prince William. Prince William's budget holiday rentals are now cheaper than a travel lodge with guests paying as little as £35 a night for a stay in one of his Cornish cottages. Now, the Prince of Wales rents out dozens of holiday homes through his $1 billion Duchy of Cornwall estate, and prices for these five-star properties have now been slashed. The deals are for slots in August and September, with one week in one of the cottages now costing £980 for four people, which equals just £35 per person per night, and therefore is cheaper than a budget travel lodge hotel. Not bad. 
Now, the three properties with reduced rent prices are in Lost Withal, Diggory, Forth, and Hext. According to a brochure, these holiday homes combine traditional elegance and contemporary comfort. Now, we know that William became the Duke of Cornwall when his father, Charles, became king, as the title is always held by the eldest son of the reigning monarch. Now, one of the holiday homes called Restormal Manor boasts nine bedrooms. The property price was cut by $2,300 for the last week in August. It now costs $517 per person to stay, which works out to around $73 per person per night. Now, it is a 500-year-old property with an indoor heated pool and spa, its own tennis court, and a fishing license for the local river. Not bad for $700 or $73 per night. One former guest wrote about the property saying, quote, we could not fault the comfort in any way. It was totally wonderful in every respect. This sounds pretty amazing and pretty budget friendly. Let me know if you have ever rented out a vacation home at the Duchy of Cornwall or on any other royal estates. But it does sound like a pretty good deal for a very, very nice vacation. So Prince Harry and Meghan Markle made their very first joint appearance today in a video where they surprised a group of young people who are working to improve the digital world. Now in the video, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle appeared all smiles as they gave their fans a rare update on their two children, Prince Archie 4 and Princess Lilibet 2. Now in the video, they said their children are, quote, incredibly great grateful to a group of young leaders who have been chosen in the inaugural cohort of the Responsible Technology Youth Power Fund, better known as the RTYPF, which is designed to help those working within the Responsible Technology Movement, better known as censorship. Now, over the phone, they surprised quite a few youngsters with Harry saying, quote, thank you for doing everything that you do. Our kids are especially and incredibly grateful, where Megan said, well, they don't know it yet, but they will be. Now, this was a video interaction that was shared on Megan and Harry's official website, Archwell Foundation. In the video, Harry looked like they're sitting in the garden of their home in Montecito. They appear to be in good spirits. Again, this is the very first time we have seen Harry and Megan together since their Emmy snub and that New York City car chase debacle. Now, the RTYPF is a new initiative that aims to give young people the tools they need to advocate for the improvements that they want to see in technology, and the Artwell Foundation is a member of its advisory group. Now, they called people um, to show their support, and they filmed them with people and their interactions. And I have to be honest, it was a really cute video. You can tell that the young people were very excited to receive the phone call. It was a wonderful interaction. This is the kind of stuff that if they would have come out the gate with this three years ago, Harry and Meghan had such a platform. They could have done so much good, but in my opinion, it's just hard to look at it with a fresh set of eyes and not be cynical because Harry and Meghan do the opposite. They are hypocrites. They do not represent this positivity, squeaky clean, snow white charity that they like to preach to the world. They sent so much hate and negativity toward his family, toward her family, but then they preach about safety and love for young people online. It's like, it just, it's hard for me to warm up to them, even though they look sweet and they look happy and the kids are interacting and this is a good, worthy cause to promote safety online. But when you know the backstory of Harry and Meghan of what they do, the cyberbullying, the people they hire, the bots, the hate they spew toward their family, also they can make money. It's hard for me to get behind this couple and to support anything that they support because they don't talk the talk and walk the walk. So that's why I, it's, it's hard for me to support them. 
So again, they have this other charity that they're trying to do. I think Megan and Harry are really working overtime to promote some positivity after all the negativity that they have spewed for the past three years. But I think it's going to be a very uphill battle for sure. Now, the cohort for this organization will work on a range of initiative projects, including responsible use of artificial intelligence, improving education access, leveraging platforms to address social and environmental challenges, and promoting the safety and well-being of online communities. Now, a statement that was on Harry and Meghan's website said the Archwell Foundation is a proud founding member of this initiative and serves on the advisory committee alongside the leading organizations including the Amadar Network, Hope Lab, Susan Crown Exchange, Susan Reynolds, and more. So again, it sounds like this really wonderful initiative, but the bottom line is they're still trying to control the internet, free speech, because it's all according to what they feel is right and what they feel is safe. So it's all up to their opinions. But at the end of the day, I'm glad they're doing something positive, but it's hard for me to get around this sugary, sweet, snow white sentiment when it comes from this couple. Well, hold on to your seats, folks. It's about to get crazy for Prince Harry on his brand new worldwide privacy tour. Oh, I'm sorry. That was a joke. Prince Harry has taken the world by storm. He is capitalizing on the royal family's absence to launch a major PR blitz. Y'all, Harry is not playing around here. Team Sussex, brand Sussex, is going to be everywhere at once while the royals are taking a siesta over there at Balmoral Castle. Again, they always plan things when the royal family's taking a break. So from Japan to Singapore, then off to Europe, Prince Harry is touring the world world one city at a time. Now we do know that Prince Harry has mentioned he is not Hollywood Harry. He's handbag Harry, but he's not Hollywood Harry. We know he doesn't like the Hollywood stuff that Meghan Markle has dragged him into. He is now focusing back to being the old Prince Harry with his mission-driven businesses with his charities, and he is hitting the ball running. Prince Harry is taking over the world, guys one country at a time. So the first stop in his big worldwide privacy tour comes on August 9th as Prince Harry is jetting off to Tokyo for a summit which is based around sport, community, and philanthropy. Next, he will head out to Singapore where he's there for a charity polo match for Centibale. The following month is equally busy as Harry will jet over to Europe for the Invictus Games in Dusseldorf, Germany. Now it has just been announced that Meghan Markle will attend the Invictus Games with Harry in Dusseldorf, Germany. Again, why is she there? This is not her charity, but yet Meghan Markle is coming over once again. Now, news has come out that Netflix is due to release the Invictus Games that they filmed last year, also in September. So I do find it very interesting that Meghan is once again attending the Invictus Games. Now, Prince Harry could also make a stopover trip to the UK for the Well Child Awards in London, which are happening later in September. Now, Harry has been a patron of this organization since 2007 and has regularly attended the awards in the past. So Harry is really hitting the ground, running, doing a full PR blitz. Again, Harry and Meghan really, 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 really need some positive PR. So this is the best way to do it, is to hit the ground running, to be out there, to be working, to be seen doing positive charity. It's like the Wicked Witch of the West or the Wicked Stepmother running around selling Girl Scout cookies. It's still, it's a good idea but it's still coming from a negative person. So people don't want to buy them cookies. You know what I'm saying? Like people don't believe what you're selling because it's wrapped up in a negative package. But look, good luck to him. We wish him the best. But we all know that the royals are just sitting there from Balmoral going, oh Lord, here comes Harry on his worldwide privacy tour doing all these charities. So in my opinion, I do feel 
that Prince Harry is desperately trying to be seen in a positive light. He's still out there competing against his brother, Prince William. I keep feeling like he's trying to one-up his brother because Prince William has been in the press doing amazing things for homelessness, for the Earthshot Prize. He's constantly out there and people are really praising him for the wonderful things that he is doing. So I do feel like Prince Harry's trying to one-up his brother. That is my opinion. The sibling rivalry is off the charts. It's almost like Prince Harry's never going to stop competing to outshine Prince William. And we all know Meghan Markle loves to compete, loves to outshine. That is literally her bread and butter. So now that the royals are on vacation, here comes Harry and Meghan. It's like you're selling Selling the syrupy, sweet, snow white stuff wrapped up in negativity. We're all a little nervous. You know, nobody really trusts them. They're not trustable. They're not likable, but they're really trying hard to tell people how sweet and nice and kind and generous they are, but yet they're not so to their family. So it's just hard for me to swallow that. I can't buy what they're selling because they don't talk the talk and walk the walk. What do you guys think of this brand new worldwide privacy tour that Harry is launching and the new positive PR initiatives that Harry and Meghan are doing together? Leave me your comments guys down below. As always, I appreciate each and every one of you and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye guys.